People of all different backgrounds have played an important part in building our community. Their faces have just been lost in history. The Banner Project is finally bringing these incredible leaders to life. We must fundamentally rethink the systems and the structures that are currently in place. And when all of our voices are heard, our community is much stronger for that. On July 1st, the Olympia Downtown Alliance, with support from the City of Olympia, unveiled the Honoring Our Diverse Leaders Street Pole Banner Project. A culturally diverse group of honorees spanning from hundreds of years ago to the present day were chosen due to their contributions and leadership in the region. The 20 banners adorn street poles in the core of downtown Olympia, centered around Capitol Way and 5th Avenue. As kids and teens walk or drive through downtown Olympia, they will see the faces of our diverse leaders. They'll see that leaders can have darker skin, curly hair, or accents. I feel like there's a lot of unsung heroes in our community and the Olympia High School students who did the research to, to find some of these individuals really helped me understand the role and impact that has been made by people that would have otherwise gone unrecognized. It was meaningful for me because I got to see that there are leaders who look like me and that I'm capable of doing things that other people are as well. We learn a lot more about like what happened before us and even what happened like behind the scenes that we may not have known about. Honorees were selected using a deliberate and inclusive process that engaged a diverse set of stakeholders in the region. The Alliance worked with Olivia Salazar de Bro, the city's equity and inclusion coordinator, to establish a panel of eight cultural ambassadors to develop recommendations for honorees. One of the things that I really loved about this was the connections we made with people who are black, Latino, indigenous Asian Pacific Islander who served as cultural ambassadors and helped kind of bring in that knowledge and then also working with um, Olympia High School students and staff to make it happen. I, I love that collaboration. I thought that was really fun. This panel presented their recommendations to a group of Olympia High School students who selected honorees, conducted research, and developed content for the banners and accompanying webpage. Our history is so different than what is written. We were so um, happy to be uh, a participant in sharing the Squaxin Island tribal history and our connection to this area in Olympia. Today, I raise my hands up in a Salish way. This is our way to say thank you. The Alliance invited the community to celebrate the project and honorees on Saturday, July 10th. Honorees, cultural ambassadors, and contributing students attended the celebration. It's safe to say that our honorees are the backbone of our community. I hope these banners not only honor them as the tenacious leaders they are, but do their hard work justice as well. I saw community members that I had met since I've been here. They had different looks on their faces. They had smiles on their faces. They had, you know, I saw them planning, okay, this is what we're gonna do, you know, in the future and this and that. So it felt, it felt really good. I think it would be great if we could have more projects to embrace diversity downtown. The BIPOC leaders, since they have lots of different backgrounds, they could bring new ideas onto the table. If we're going to move forward together, we need to learn about the past and we need to honor where we've been so we can figure out where we're going together. We invite you to visit downtown Olympia to learn about our region's diverse leaders, past and present. The fact is simple, representation matters. And the Banner Project perfectly exemplifies that point.